We are improving people's lives. We are curing Alzheimer's disease. We are revolutionizing how food is brought to every table around the world. We are harnessing biology to fundamentally transform industries, from agriculture and energy to pharmaceuticals and consumer products. We are using technology to accelerate scientific breakthroughs. The problems that we are solving in science have never been more complex. It's like the final frontier. In order for science to address a lot of the problems that we're facing, it needs to move faster and faster. And the only way that's going to happen is by harnessing technology like we've seen in other industries. The life science industry runs on paper, email, and spreadsheets, even though the complexity of the work that has to be done has gone up in order of magnitude. We do so many experiments, and a single scientist has so much to keep track of. Tying all that complexity together into conclusions and results, that is most of the work. It's easy to generate data. It's really difficult to go back and find the relevant pieces of data and then disseminate that appropriately across an organization. We owe it to those dedicating their lives to scientific discovery to equip them with the best tools possible. That is why we started Benchling. Given the massive change in complexity of the work that's being done, more teams, new molecules, new processes, it was impossible to do work in an efficient way with a legacy set of tools. If we want to solve some of these really complicated problems, we need to think outside of the box. So anything that we can do on our end to make things go faster, to be more efficient, any type of busy work we can consolidate into just one streamlined workflow, we need to do that. It's not like, a, oh, it's a nice to have. I think it's a need to have. We can ask more questions in a shorter amount of time. We can try more possibilities in a shorter amount of time. There's a lot of potential that digital sciences and technology can bring to not only streamlining our work, but enhancing the outcome. We need to make sure that scientists have time to do the science that they do so well and can learn from the data that they're collecting and actually harness the power of the science that's happening to accelerate these changes. Biotechnology will fundamentally rewrite the way we live, and our vision is to enable that transformation to happen over the next decade instead of taking 30 to 50 years.